All right, here we are. I've um, managed to pick up three of the new Aqua Forest Test Pro test kits. Um, thought I'd do a quick video on first time I'm using the um, magnesium one. Uh, everything you can see in front of the table here comes with it, apart from um, the speed stir from Taylor. You get some uh, instructions. You get some waterproof instructions that use pictures instead of words if you want. Um, one interesting thing is you get uh, the ICF ICP verified, um, which says that this test kit returned a result of 1290 to 1320 magnesium when the reference solution said it was 1310. So it falls pretty much in the middle of the um, of the test kit. Obviously, you got a 30 milligram swing there from a tritation test kit, which is probably acceptable. You get a little bit of promotional material, which uh, fills out the box a bit, I guess. You get all of these uh, reagents, which is pretty cool. Um, these two I won't be using today, that's the reference solution which does uh, calcium, magnesium and salinity. That comes with it which is pretty sweet because I've seen other brands sell that um, as an extra fairly expensively. You get two of the um, first, or the A reagent, um, which I guess means you can keep one sealed a bit longer. Obviously you get a couple of um, syringes and uh, off you go. So um, according to the first step we've got to put uh, two mil of tank water um, into the into the bubble. So, uh, Give that two mil of tank water, and she goes. I'll put it in the speed stir now, it makes it a bit easier. Put the light on just for uh, you, Rob Zalek, because I know uh, you find the light really important. Um, all right, now a reagent needs five drops. I'll give it a quick shake. It doesn't say you need to, but you know, it never hurts. And five drops of that. One, two, three, four, five. Beautiful. All right, reagent B requires three drops. Again, give it a quick shake, it won't hurt. One, two, three. All right, this is to give it a stir for five seconds. I think we've done that already with the speed stir. Reagent C is next, which is a scoop of the powder. Probably don't need to shake that one because you know it's a powder. Scoop of powder. There she goes. Again, it says to stir for 10 seconds. Speed stir will do that pretty quickly for us while we get uh, reagent D ready, which is the one you use your syringe for. Actually, before I take the lid off, I'll give that a quick shake as well. Once again, it doesn't say you have to, but I'm a stickler for these things. Alright, now we've got to draw out one mil of that, which for those new to the game out there, if you do that to the bottom of the syringe plunger, you might get a little air gap in there, that's fine. The, the air is because the plunger only goes to there and the needle goes to there. The main thing is is you read where you read one milli, one milliliter from is where you read your final results from. So let's just put this in drop by drop until the sample turns blue. Speed stir really makes this a lot easier. Still looking fairly pink. This will be interesting because I haven't tested my magnesium for a while. It's normally around 1370, but we'll see where we go. Starting to go blue, that looks fairly blue. I'll just give it a second to make sure it holds that color. Looks like it's gone here. All right, so we measure the syringe. That says it's uh, 0.12, 0.13. Uh, somewhere here on our instructions, over here. Uh, da, da, da. Let's put this right up in there, which is 13, 20, 13, 10. So it's probably a tad lower than I thought it was going to be, but um, that's uh, still within its sweet spot according to the um, instructions here. It's probably, I wonder if it's got that on, oh, it's got that on that side too. So you probably don't need these instructions. It's got everything you need on this nice waterproof piece. Um, so yeah, I had 0 0.12, 0 0.03 left in the um, syringe, 13, 10, 13, 20. I'll do um, the calcium and alkalinity test soon. Thanks for watching.